Uh, I'm Clay Henderson. I've lived here along the banks of the Indian River Lagoon in New Smyrna for the last uh, 34 years. Uh, during that time, we've watched a number of hurricanes and other name storms come and go. But it's only in the last couple of years that we've seen these blue water flooding situations where the water actually comes out of the banks. Uh, we're in the old part of town here. The, the seawall in front of my house was actually built in 1902. Uh, until the last couple of years, the only time that the water came out of the banks was for named storms. But over the course of the last couple of years, we've seen the water come out of the banks for king tides and, of course, for, uh, for the hurricane. So uh, we are seeing uh, tangible evidence here of the water rising. And for those of us that uh, only live at about a five foot of sea level, uh, watching the water rise is, uh, uh, it is something that we're all very much concerned about. Uh, currently, I'm the director of the Institute for Water and Environmental Resilience at Stetson University. Uh, together with uh, my colleague, Dr. Jason Evans, we have been uh, looking at sea level rise issues across uh, the state. Uh, everywhere in Florida now is experiencing these same sorts of situations where we're seeing uh, bright sunny days with no wind and, and no gale force winds and the water coming out of its banks. Uh, along the east coast of Florida and in fact the southeastern United States, we're seeing more and more days of nuisance flooding. Uh, in South Florida, uh, the local governments there are already spending millions and millions of dollars to try to pump uh, water back out into the ocean. Uh, beginning to see tangible change. So in my lifetime, I've seen the water rise. For the rest of my life, we expect to see water rise as much as a foot here. And when that happens, uh, we're gonna see nuisance flooding throughout the east coast of Volusia County. And uh, that's gonna mean a number of issues for all of us that live along the coast.